Kerevin. So this journey begins in a early morning. Beautiful day on the A9, heading south. Very cold, beautiful sky, promising great weather for later, hopefully. Now we turn on at Lagan here, and we go along a single track road, and then head for Garva. Nice big bull there, and what he's up to. And along the reservoir there, which has got lots of fish in it certain times of the year. They open this gate here to control the movement of fish, I believe. So we head over the Garva Bridge um, with the gates open. Thankfully it's open today and we just head along this single track road. And we're aiming up to a place called Mel Garv. Can't go any further anyway, so should be pretty straightforward to find it. But it's a single track road, and just after these shillings, um, there's a kind of enough space to park your car. This is it, Mayor Garve now, troops, and we're heading for Garven. We trek along the road past the body and up onto the slopes. Hi, how are you getting on today? Today we're doing in um, Garva on the old military road and we're heading for a corbett called Garven. So this is as far as you can come with your car obviously and then continue on by foot past Mer Garv Bothy here. Both of there, and we're heading up here a wee bit. Then we'll make a beeline for the wee bailiac between the two bumps there. Very, very windy now. Up there and then onto the summit ridge itself.
apologies for the quality of the sound, but um, that wind was just unbelievably strong and very, very loud coming through the microphone, and it was lifting me up at some stage, so I just thought I'd mute that and save your eardrums any more damage. But this is a view from the summit anyway. The wind was that strong, it was blowing the snow particles right off my face, and it was like sandpaper. It wasn't very pleasant, and I didn't fancy pushing on and completing a horseshoe walk and come back via the pass, so I just thought I would uh, pack up and get down as quickly as possible. So shortly after leaving the summit, got a wee bit of protection from the elements. That wind was really sharp, very cutting and very cold. That's us near the bottom section now. You can just see Melgar Bothy in the distance. This would be quite soggy if it was wet, but thankfully it's a wee bit icy today, so it's quite firm. So here's the Bothy Melgar. Let's go in and have a wee look. Hmm, nice and clean. Nice wee fireplace, some kindling wood, some information, more firewood. Wee room through the back here place to sleep and on the wall General Wade well an image of him back through the living room plenty of information we brush to sweep up keep it clean up the stairs and we have suite number one room with a view now we'll go across the landing and into the Tweedale suite Again, lovely view across to Craig Maggie. Quite a nice And now we'll head down the steps. There's a wee plaque to commemorate the people who renovated the Bothy in memory of some people. And a beautiful view to finish. maybe about three hours or something. Three hours and you think about it, yeah, that would take us right in the heart of the Ukraine. Just hope that conflict's over soon. Kind of puts things into perspective and brings us back to reality, yeah? But it's nice to get a wee bit of fresh air and escape some of the madness. I needed to get out today anyway. Just, my mum's still not well and just a lot of anxiety and uh, it's nice to be able to escape and just clear the head and decompress. I've certainly done that at the top of that hill with that one, but anyway, it was a nice trip out there and hopefully you've enjoyed the footage and can get out yourself pretty soon and keep safe, as they say. All the best and I'll catch up with you the next time, eh? Cheers.